astronaut Dan Tani is going to talk us through what is possibly the most dangerous thing that any astronaut ever has to do. Dan, why are they having to do this spacewalk? Because this wasn't expected, this wasn't in the plans for Tim. He wasn't expecting to get up onto the space station and almost immediately have to help supervise a, a spacewalk. Absolutely. They were doing a routine move of the what's called the mobile transporter. And the mobile transporter is like this uh, trolley that goes back and forth. Yeah, on we can the, see it. Yeah, yeah, let's can't let's we? talk about that. And so they were doing a routine maneuver from one worksite to another, and unexpectedly it got stuck. It, it had to release from one worksite, and it got stuck between before it could get to the other worksite and they don't know why. And that's a big deal because they depend very heavily on that arm. It, it's a very big deal because two of the supply ships that bring cargo to the space station, the food and the experiments and sometimes oxygen and, and critical things are grappled by that arm. And right now that arm is completely useless. It's not hooked up to the space station. And so they need to get that arm, that the mobile transporter locked into place so that the arm can be operated. The, they're going out the lock there. I think they're yeah, just going here they out go, the yeah. If they are unsuccessful at uh, performing this EVA, it will put a halt to everything on the space station. They have got to fix this mobile transporter. It's, uh, they six cannot continue operating the space station the with the mobile space transporter station, in this position. Space this is a helmet camera. You can see their perspective of what they're doing. And okay, I'm going to start heading that direction. Uh, that was good. So they're navigating their way to their destination, and that's, that's what, what they're doing now, right? Hand over hand, yes. working their way around this structure, out that airlock, right. and out towards the, the CETA cart, this, this transporter we've been hearing about. Right. The space station is so large, there are, there are labels out here with arrows that say airlock, so that right. you know how to get home. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll see those, because, it, because the last thing you want is to be so disoriented, like, I don't, I'm not sure where I'm going, and so we have basically how to get home arrows out there. <laughs> is it easy to get lost on the outside of the oh, space it's, station? Uh, it's, it's very surprisingly easy to lose your orientation and not be sure, am I on top, am I on bottom, I'm, uh, am I behind, especially if it's dark and all you see are a couple handrails. Right, and that's a good point to make because right now they're in sunlight. So they time the walk to start with an ISS sunrise and then they've got 45 minutes before the sun goes down again, and then this view will go dark and only be illuminated by their, their helmet, helmet lights. Helmet yeah, lights. and there's, there are a few external lights on the space station, yes. Right. Let's have a listen to the, the downlink if we can hear it. The brake pedal on the starboard seat of cart uh, will uh, initiate the release of the brake handle, which is believed uh, on the starboard seat so of cart to be the uh, suspect that is preventing the movement of the mobile transporter. It's started moving forward and aft. Okay, we copy that. So they are at their destination now. They're there, yep, they're working it. What they want to do is make sure that the brake is the problem and, and there's no, no other problem. Oh, bro, I got the fair lead on the major extension of the port strut on the lap. Okay, copy that. Uh, then you can go ahead and translate up to face one and you're looking for handrail 3523, which is in bay 02 for your green hook. So that's a very specific instruction, isn't it? So right. just not the handrail, a numbered handrail, and telling him where he's going to find it. I mean, how useful is that information to you when you're walking? Oh, it's, real, it's critical. What they're instructing him to do is go to that handrail and take his safety tether and attach it to uh, that handrail because in the whole choreography, they don't want to cross their tethers or get it caught up in anything else. So right now, what, and Tim Peake is still in vehicle. I guess he's probably monitoring their progress. Oh yeah, he's certainly monitoring uh, what's going on, making sure that uh, he understands where everybody is. But he has to be uh, acutely aware of what's happening on the outside so that if anything happens, he's ready to jump into action and, and receive them in the airlock again. And it sounds like they might just be about to get this yeah. cart moving. Done everything they need to do on the seat of cart, and it sounds like they're giving the go and getting out of the way so that the so cart can gonna, move. So they're going to get out of the way so that Mission Control can move that cart automatically from the ground. So there's an instruction is going to be issued from Mission Control and get that cart moving. That's and we're going to see that in the next couple of minutes. Okay, I'm ready for motion whenever Tim and you guys are. And uh, I'm ready for motion too, Scott. Okay, we're uh, putting in the last command. I see motion. Yes, and we do motion. see motion yes. on the mobile transporter. Yeah, motion down here as well, that's good. That's good as well. It's just inching towards yeah, its it moves very slowly. 
Okay, guys, uh, good news. It uh, appears to have reached the worksite center. So we are a uh, go to continue. It's a big success. Uh, they couldn't be happier with how things went on the spacewalk show. Oh, yes, too. So it's coming on through the work. Okay, I'm going to tell you to stop there for a second. Okay. Right when you get to that trunnion pin. Okay, we'll do. Scott's so. taking a picture of Tim uh, Copra. That's what he's doing. <laughs> he's told him he, 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 saw, he saw a good picture, so he's setting up a picture. I'm All right. Sure. So, yeah. so enough time for selfies. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. right. Yeah. yeah. I, I think they're doing pretty well. Oh, that is remarkable. So the crews have got out of the airlock. They've got onto the bit of the space station that was broken. They have uh, got that break off. They've moved into place. Tiny fingers crossed to make sure that that couples into the power so they can move it again. Uh, and uh, But I think that they have literally saved this mission. I think that's a round of applause for I them. I believe they have. <laughs>